I'm going to show you another way to use Photopea to distort an image, this time using the Blur and Smudge tool. So when you've got your image chosen from File, Open, whatever image you would like, you're going to go to this sidebar here and there might be a different image here depending on what you've clicked. It might start with the Blur tool which is what I'm going to do. You just right click there and choose the option that you need. And at the top then you can change the strength of what you're doing and also the size of the brush. So I am first going to distort her eyes. So I'm just going to measure that up to see what sort of size I want to use. I'm going to go a little bit smaller and I'm going to increase the strength of the blur. And from here, I'm just holding that down and going back and forth across her eye and repeating that on the other side. And this can be done on small sections, on whole images. You could do that on backgrounds, anything that you think would be appropriate. And then I'm also going to show you how to use the smudge tool. Just right click in here. And again, you want to pick a specific size. So to do this, I'm going to use a smaller brush. And I want it to look like she has turned her head, like her lips have been pulled across the page. This would be great as well for applying other colour and using the same technique. It could look like makeup. And I'm just going to take sections and drag in one direction. I'm stopping at slightly different places. Just to show you how that could look with another layer, take the lasso tool and draw around her lips and then copy that area. You'll see that's come up on the next layer there. And here I can change the colour. If I go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, you can see the colour of her lips is changing. So if I went for a bright pink, for example, and increased the saturation, from there I could just drag so then it has an implication of makeup being smudged. You could do the same thing on the eyes to make it look like tears, possibly pulling black downwards. Yeah, lots of different options of how you could go about this. And it doesn't need to be a portrait. You could do the same with nature or a still life, for example. 